Hi guys, welcome to part 18 of Life is Strange. We're all, we're, we're fed and we're toileted, so let's, uh... Well, one of us is, I, I was alright. Yeah, let's, uh, hang on, let's have a look. There might not be any Panda States by Saturday. Maybe. Jeez. Signpost. First time we've been on the beach? Well, properly. Playing. Yeah, we were kind of on the beach with wheels in the alternative timeline. Wheels. Fuck's sake. <laughs> what do they call you? Wheels? Oof, should we take a photo? These beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. How do I take a photo? Is it a photo opportunity? I don't think so. I think it is. No, that, yeah, one, there we go. Smile! <laughs> you're, you're a bunch of beached whales. Lose some weight. <laughs> Now what are you wailing for? Just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. We still haven't told Chloe about that alternate reality, have we? Uh, it's probably best we don't. The trash. Trash me. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Or both. And his dog's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Imagine how much. How terrible this must be in the alternate reality. I mean, I was thinking about this during the break. We're going off to a standoff. Oh, We've both got guns. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not yeah. getting you high. Frank, we're well, at least you're a responsible adult. adult. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Uh, you kind of already did. <laughs> oh my god, I can say that. <laughs> you already did. You did it. Oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. Maybe we free. should rewind. Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. We're technically not in your home. We're on the beach. Do you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. King Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do? Get it, bitch. Get it. Step the fuck back now. Ruff, ruff. Oh shit. Oh shit. You killed my dog. Uh. I don't think. Did you uh, got shot there? Frank. Oh shit! It's hard to. <laughs> well, I guess that's one problem out of the way. Oh no! Chloe. I just shot a man and his dog. So the dog dies anyway. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Yeah, Before so we... let's contaminate the crime scene with our fingerprints. CSI Miami, am I right? That's it. As soon as we can, we need to rewind this because fuck me, this Sorry. is bad. Yeah. Although honestly, I don't see it ending any other way. Jesus. Chloe actually Let's uh, 
quickly go and fix this. Because we just murdered two people. Well, people, a person and his dog. Yeah, that's not antagonizing this time, for fuck's sake. That this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. Oh. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Uh, watch your mouth. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Come on, what happened? I... Blah, 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 blah. We've seen this. No fight. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't <laughs> Yeah, you did have no idea. <laughs> you had no bin. And so is your dog. Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is it? Uh, I'm sorry. No, no. Listen, I'm sorry. Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Mention Rachel Amber. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. Be amazed. <laughs> never would have pulled the trigger. Although we never did kill Chloe. Yeah. So... Dude, she was... Have we actually right? killed anyone? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit. You Except for when I throw him in the road. You like dogs? I'm sure you mentioned the dog rescue? Uh... Well, we shouldn't mention his name, definitely. Uh, yeah, rescue dog. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Uh, Rachel's letter? Listen, I read Rachel's letter. I know how much... Whoa. The one in my RV? Uh -oh. Are you fucking insane? You read my private letter? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. Why the hell did you pick that, man? I don't know. Face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late, she's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do? Oh God, here yeah, we go. Yeah, we're back on this. You gotta be careful with this, man. You can't be just pulling <laughs> out. I read your private letters. <laughs> well, this guy. I thought we were getting along, okay? We were getting along until you brought up that you broke into his army and read his private love letters. That is like. I'd probably choke the shit out of you. Okay, let's try this again. Ah, third time lucky. 
Yeah. This time we gotta keep it ambiguous. We've spent like ten minutes on this. Skip, 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 uh, then we pick the the rescue dogs, didn't we? Yeah. I think you can just keep on tapping it; it'll keep on going through. Dog rescue. God, this is a long ass conversation. Good job, we have time powers. Yeah. Uh. Bracelet. Bracelet. Yeah, I think I think that's gotta be the best way. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Oh, for God's sake. Man, there is something about you. We don't have much. Oh, it's, gone. it's too late, she's gone. Thanks. Yep, there we go. Is there any way we can avoid this? There's gotta be. It wouldn't let us rewind it if if it was if it was unavoidable. Let's do the time um, not forget. Okay. <laughs> God, this is a long conversation too. Maybe if we take the gun off Chloe. Yeah, this time Let's we'll see. tell her to get rid of the gun. Right, we need to get rid of the factors. Get rid of the gun. The gun, the dog. Can we, we, there's an option to close the door, isn't there? But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. No weapons. No fight. What do you think? Uh, no weapons. Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking? After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. Oh, for God's sake. God, I hate you, Blackwell shits. You act like you own this town, like I'm your puppet. Nobody owns me. You understand that? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Oh. Roxy! This is so tough. This is gonna be the episode. Motherfucker! Oh, but when... Oh, for God's sake. Ah, so we need to close the door, I think. So if we close the door, then even if he reacts, then it looks like she can stop him with the gun. Or can we tell... the Chloe... Uh, talk to Chloe and tell her to put away her gun? Yeah, we, I already had. I already told us to get rid of her gun. Yeah. All right. Close the door. I think so. I still we'll try that one. God damn it! Why is this so difficult? Listen. Maybe there's no way out of it. Maybe we've just made some choices that will always result in the same outcome. Look, saving Kate was easier than this. <laughs> Maybe for you. All right. Close the door this time. Frank. Your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. Yeah, there was a go. All right, we're making some progress. Yeah. At least the dog won't oh, die in this one. At first. Now, what do you want? Just the names. Oh. He's... Right. Okay. Uh, and we need to say sorry. Yep. Listen. Come on, Frank. Uh. This would be so much easier if you listened to me and not got to, and taken away his gun. This would be so much easier. Dog rescue. Dog rescue. Karma. You. Uh, I I don't know. What are you hiding? 
Oh yeah, hiding scene is like we've tried, we've tried letter and we've tried bracelets. So it's one of these two. What are you hiding? What are you hiding, Frank? You should want to help us, not scare us away. Don't you accuse me of anything. You don't know me or who I am, or what I can do. You understand? Huh? Man, there is something about you that... We don't have much... It's too late! For God's sake. Frank, let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! There we go. That's better. You actually shot me. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Oh, this fucking hurts. Oh, it hurts. That's gotta be the best outcome we can hope for. You shot him. I know. You're both fucking crazy. What do you want? We... We just want... Yeah, we did it. <coughs> now. Define whatever. Just... Just put the goddamn gun down. You already shot me, alright? There. Now leave me alone, alright? Just... Just get out of my life. Do you want Yeah, and the money's no longer a problem. Aha! No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. At least Chloe got her gun back. Yeah, and he doesn't have a gun anymore. Hey, we're, we're cleaning up the streets. They no longer have guns anyway. Yeah, so now we've got two guns. Hmm. <laughs> Do wield. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more. I imagine it would have been easier if we grabbed the gun, then he wouldn't have been able to yes, threaten us. And... Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather him be alive than dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, turns out we did have to kind of point some fingers at him to make him talk. Damn. That was tough. So. Where does our investigation lead next? Chloe, are you okay? <sighs> Sorry, I just keep thinking... That's a pretty heavy gun. Me. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. Yeah, he did pull the gun, in fairness. And yeah. he did take it quite well for somebody who just got shot. Right, let's start tying some clues. Hmm. Okay, so what have we got? Uh, uh, thanks to David's own Nathan's pictures. I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Uh, so, uh, so are, we, are we supposed to tie these together somehow? Yeah, I guess then we'll get some string. Ooh, what about the phone down there? There's a phone. Where? Uh, like, when did we choose it? Oh, shit. Um. What's that? License plate pictures, coordinates. Maybe if you look at them, pictures, then you can. Paper. Are you to the Vortex Club? <laughs> He's in the Vortex Club. Uh, paper. You know, I'm just. I think you just try. You can just look. Uh. Coordinates. No logical link between those clues. No link between those clues. Okay. Deselect, deselect. Okay, so uh, there's Kate's pictures. Let's select those, and this paper here, because it's got the same picture. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the coordinates. Looks like David is tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Okay, just like clear that's not a tying thing. Kate's pictures. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. So, let's look at this. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Okay, so that's a car. And this is coordinates. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Uh, I don't know. None of these things seem to connect. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Nothing here connects. What the hell? 
Maybe we can't. I'm a suspect. Proving that at least David was finally going after the right suspect. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. How come we can't look at that notebook? I don't know. We can't look at anything that's fucking important, basically. I don't know. Maybe Google this? Because I don't have a clue. It doesn't really explain why. Neither do I. License plate. Map. I don't know. Coordinates. Uh, I'm, I'm looking it up. Okay. This okay, it looks like uh, we can start by looking uh, at a different set of clues. Look at Frank's clues at the top, so exit out. Uh, oh, so, oh, we were looking at the wrong person's clues, that's why. Yeah, we're looking at David's ones. Let's look right. at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay, so account yep. book. Oh, well, you want to look at it first. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Those clues are not related. We can basically just trial and error these ones because we know the book's going to be involved. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him, right? Uh... I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book if I could decipher the damn code names. Code names. Okay. Okay. Select. This makes no sense, Mac. I mean, it's this one over here. Yes. Yes. The okay. Game is on. Nice. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us. Oh, I gotta get started. Oh, for God's sake. Let's see if I can. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Nathan. 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 His name is Rot, apparently. Rot. Okay. Wait now. Look. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Yeah, Ross, 65 grand. Jesus. Okay. So, uh, do we select both of them then? Uh, no, we need to find another one with Rot on it, I believe. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. Do you still need some help on the walkthrough? One second. Let's say if I need help. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Where's Rot? Is he on here? No, he's not on this one. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life... Okay, I know which ones it is. Who am I to talk? Is the bottom right, the bottom left, and the book. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. So bottom right? Bottom right, bottom left, and the paper. You can't select the paper. Mm hmm? Yeah, you can because you've got three selected nope. already. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay. So right. Next set of blues clues? Next next set of blues clues is David's clues. David's. Okay. Yeah, so I will need help on this one because these ones are confusing as fuck. Okay. Uh, on this walkthrough, <laughs> let's see. Um, so they're gonna do the bot. They're doing the bottom one first, so maybe that's why it's confusing. Which bottom one? There is no bottom one. The bot. Uh, the bottom section of. Uh, uh, yeah. If you exit out of the middle one. Uh, right. Well, let's do Nathan's clues then, I guess. That's maybe why we're getting so. And we want to keep this expedient, so. Uh, yeah. So you have a look around, and I'll look at this answer so that we can keep it expedient rather than There's a lot tedious. Of in here. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. If there is a dark room, we better couldn't hurt to give this pen coat a whack. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. Maybe it's uh, the but those numbers. numbers okay. the... Yeah the card and maybe the phone? Uh, almost, right. So, the, yeah. the phone is the one. Yeah. The, 
bit of paper in the middle of the Vortex Club and the one on the right, between the phone, almost. No, no, just to the right of that. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why it exited me out for, I didn't press space. Yeah. So, so it's the, the phone, the SIM card. The paper. That bit of paper. Yeah, and the one on the left, the student file. And, and the student file. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Okay, so the last one is... Oh, we need to do this part, though. Uh. Start hacking. Start hacking. Okay, unlock the phone. Apparently not. Okay, paper. Nine five three five. That looks like it's gonna be the one. Oh. Uh. Bad code. Okay, so it's not that one. Ah, I know which one it is. What? Check out his piece of paper on the left. Yeah. It's, uh... Where is it? Go on to read. Phone, phone, home phone, cell phone, work phone. Uh. Ah, it's on the little notepad, the red one. The red one? Yeah. It's 58. Wait, but there's four numbers though, it can't be 58. It physically cannot be fifty-eight. There is more than there is four numbers. Yeah, it, it's it is like zero zero fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. God, this yeah, would take us I fucking know. years. Nope, incorrect. Look, is it? That's five nine two there. I think, in red. No, no, it's definitely fifty-eight. It's not. There's three numbers. Five nine two. There is zero yeah. zero five eight over here, but it's not in red. Well, oh. good. Let's try. I'm getting confused. You locked it, dumbass. Oh. Well, we, I think we can rewind then. Okay. So it's not, maybe it's 3988. Uh, I'm so confused. This walkthrough is confused as well. Maybe it's different per playthrough. Oops. Bad code. Okay, I think I've got it. I think yeah. you've got to get it wrong uh, so many times, and then it will ask you to do the enter PUK. I think that's how it works. So you, you have to get it wrong, and then you can reset it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Yeah, try another one. Just take a one number. Dumbass. Yeah, now exit out, now unlock it again. And yeah, there we go. Can, okay, what's the, what's the PUK then? I imagine the so PUK that is... is the little thing on the on the SIM card thing. Yeah, the PUK is on the SIM card. Yeah. So, uh, PUK. Oh God, I'm not remember that. Eight seven eight nine seven eight zero eight. Can you remember that? Yeah. So what was it? Eight seven. Eight. Oh, for God's sake. Move. There you go. No, don't go back to that one. <laughs> Why is this, oh my god, why is this so precise? No, fuck off. Seven. Uh, eight, nine. Eight. Nine. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Zero, eight. Zero, and then eight again. Yep. Booyah. Let's find out what Nathan... Master Hacker! Uh, what's up, G? Okay, cool. Sold me water, asshole. Calm down, bring it to me. Stay with the pigs on the beach. Yes. This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. 
Load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Ah, it's telling me to end the episode. But we'll finish up this you because we're bro. almost done. You up, bro. God, Nathan. You're Do you want to carry this on next episode? So uh, we will have to be done with Nathan's phone. Now I can officially okay. call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Is this from Nathan's father? Yeah, what is for? It's but being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not a hobby. Yeah. Oh, damn. Go. So we didn't make that much progress today, but we managed to, you know, not die. Yeah. Uh, so we spent most of the episode, I think, screwing around with Frank. But I think the only thing left to do is yeah. David's clues, which we'll do next yeah. time. So please join us for the next part of Life is Strange. So we'll see you guys next time. See you then, folks. Goodbye.